Hi, Pentax Tips here. I got a hot one for you today. I'm going to show you the traits to look for to determine if you got yourself a regular 50mm 7 element tacumar variant or if you have the Zeiss Planar Killer 8 element super tacumar. The 8 element is said to be of such high quality that Pentax actually took a loss with each sale just to spite Zeiss with showmanship. Probably because of just-in-time method of production, a couple of variations exist, but eventually these more expensive and bulkier 8-element versions were replaced with a 7-element version bearing the same nameplate. Again, a couple variations following. Now from the renderings I've seen, all these lenses are tack sharp and produce beautiful images. However, individual results vary greatly, especially considering which variant you own and the quality of the copy. Remember, these were made in the 60s. So let's get to it. This is how you discern between these lenses. First off, if your nameplate says Super multi coded or SMC, you do not have an 8 element TAC, as the 8 element was never made with multi coatings. It's got to just say Super Tachymar. However, some 7 element versions were also labeled Super Tachymar. So let's continue. Next, the 8 element has its infrared mark to the right of the 4 on the depth of field scale while the 7 element has the infrared mark on the left side of that 4. There are two variations I've seen with the 8 element. One has a little R below the marker as well, but as long as the mark is on the right hand side, you got yourself an 8 element tack. Also, very noticeable, is the label on the automatic manual aperture switch. While the 8 element is labeled with an A for automatic and M for manual aperture, the 7 element instead reads auto for automatic and man for manual mode. Also on the switch, flip the lens upside down, look for the numbering. Numbering only began with the many 7 element variations, so if you think you have an 8 element, it should not have any numbers on the bottom of that switch. Sticking with the aperture, the 8 element will never have an extra clicked stop on the aperture ring with this associated dot while the 7 element may or may not possess that little dot and click. The earlier 7 element variant may have that click, but my later SMC version does not have that dot and clicks right from 1.4 to f2. Next, focus to infinity. The 8 element rear lens protrudes substantially compared to the 7 element. You can see that the rear element is maybe a millimeter and a half longer than the 7 element. This actually caused a bunch of issues with the mirror in the earlier cameras. I believe they stated they made it for the Spotmatic, but it could also be used on cameras later than the SV. But yeah, you can see here the 8 element rear lens is unprotected and protruding. Perhaps this next tip is less noticeable because the process is reversible, but all 7 element versions contain radioactive thoriated glass, which yellows over time. And the 8 element version apparently has both radioactive and non radioactive variants, but apparently not nearly as active as the 7 element variants. And therefore, the 8 element does not display the same amount of yellowing over time. Next up, only the SMC and later lenses, again, those are the 7 element variants, contain 8 aperture blades, and they also have that aperture lever on the lens mount to allow for open aperture metering with the camera, uh, cameras later than the SPF. Your Super Tachymars will only have six blades and with no aperture lever. There might be slight differences on how the nameplate is formatted between the various incarnations of both the 8 and 7 element tacks. I'm not going to be too specific, it's things like the width of the lettering and where the serial number is placed and if the 4 is opened or closed. But I don't have enough copies to be too specific and I think we can tell the difference between the 8 and 7 element lenses by now. Again, please remember these lenses are entirely compatible on modern DSLRs with a simple adapter. Check out the link in the description on how to complete that process. If you like this content, want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. Thanks.